good morning class hope you all are doing well yes student first of all there is an announcement regarding reopening of school from tomorrow onward school will be reopen from the class nursery to 12th so dear student kal se class nursery se leke 12th tak school reopen ho rahe hain so aap sabhi kal school mein aaye well dressed with proper mask and sanitizer okay so hope ki kal sabhi student school mein class attend karenge aur jo bhi aapke younger brother sister near and dear hain unko bhi aap ye announce kare ki kal se jo hai school nursery se leke 12th tak ke liye reopen ho rahe hain yes it is a good news okay so good morning and let's start chapter 17 in previous lecture we have discuss discussing visit to a forest okay so there is professor ahmed bujo paheli and tibu so we have discuss about the visit to the forest the product that we get from forest different type of medicines wood timber gum okay so these are the different product which we get from forest then we have discuss about crown the branchy part of the tree is known as crown then what is canopy tall tree look like a roof over the other plant in the forest and this is called canopy then canopy and understory understory The small tree in the forest form the horizontal layer, which is known as understory. Okay. So let's start activity seventeen point three. So open page number two hundred eleven. Activity seventeen point three. So dig a small pit, put vegetable waste, and live in it. Cover them with soil. add some water after 3 days remove the upper layer of the soil does the pit feel warm inside so by performing this activity we will learn about how some part of the soil become warm so first of all we will dig up it we will put some vegetable waste leaves or fruit waste means organic material cover with them with the help of soil add some water after 3 or 4 days remove the upper layer of the soil does the pit feel warm inside yes pehli ask there are so many trees there also there are many forests like this what difference will it make if we cut some trees for a factory professor ahmed said you have read about autotrophs heterotrophs saprotroph yes in chapter 1 and 2 we have discuss about microorganisms two type of living beings are there autotrophs and heterotrophs autotrophs which make their food themselves known as autotroph like green plants heterotrophs the organism or the animal or the living beings that depend on the other for their food Known as heterotroph. Saprotroph is also the part of heterotrophs. Okay, dead and decaying matter पे जो survive करते हैं, known as saprotrophs. So you have learned how green plant produce food. Means green plant produce food with the help of photosynthesis by doing photosynthesis. All animal, whether herbivores or carnivores, what are the herbivores? Plant eating animal, carnivores. Plant-eating animal and the third type of animal are omnivores, which eat both plant and flesh of other animal. So look at the figure seventeen point nine: interrelationship of plant, soil, and decomposer in a forest. Carnivores depend ultimately on plant for food, whether they are herbivores or carnivores. they directly or indirectly depend on plant 
say deer and horse are herbivores they directly eat the plant and green grass but like lion tiger they eat deer or the other animals which indirectly eating the plants so both herbivores and carnivores directly or indirectly depend on plants for their food organism which feed on plant often eat often get eaten by other organism and so on for example grass is eaten by insect which in turn is taken by the frog the frog is consumed by snake this is said to form a food chain yes food chain food chain so underline this food chain grass that is eaten by insect insect is eaten by frog frog is eaten by snake and snake is eaten by eagle so this long chain of food is known as food chain many food chain can be found in the forest many food chain are there all the food chain are linked if any one food chain is disturbed it affect other food chain every part of the forest is depend on the other part okay whether they are herbivores carnivores autotroph heterotroph they are interlinked with each other they depend on each other directly or indirectly if one food chain is disturbed say if there is no grass there will be no insect if there is no insect there will be no frog if no frog there will be no snake no snake there will be no eagle so all the system will be disturbed if any one of the food chain is disturbed if we remove one component say trees all other component would be affected because they are depend on each other so look at the figure 17 by 9 interrelationship of plant soil decomposer in a forest okay so with the help of photosynthesis plant make their food they are using sunlight carbon dioxide and giving oxygen oxygen is taken by all the other living beings whether they are animal plant birds or animal birds human being they are using oxygen soil soil is having some kind of decomposer say if there is a dead plant or dead animal agar forest ke andar koi dead plant or dead animal hai kuch time ke baad wo wahan pe nahi hota it will mix up with soil how there are some organism known as a decomposer which decompose the dead plant or animal dead plant or animal ko decompose karne ke liye kuch organism hote hain small organism jo usko decompose karke kis mein mix karenge into the soil these are known as decomposers and decomposer increase the nutrient in the soil which make soil fertile which increase the fertility of the soil and soil get rich in nutrient these nutrient are taken by the plant and plant will grow so that directly or indirectly they depend on each type of vessels are there xylem vessel and phloem vessels upward movement of water and nutrient downward movement of the food these kind of terms we have already discussed in previous chapters okay so they are interrelated with each other interrelationship of plants soil decomposer in the forest professor ahmed asked children to pick up leaves from the forest floor and observe them under a hand lens yes jab bacche forest ke aane ke liye forest mein aane ke liye packing kar rahe the to unke paas kya tha ek hand lens bhi magnifying glass yes jo activity humne class lab mein ki thi online classes mein us pe maine aapko dikhaya hai convex lens 
कन्वेक्स लेंस इज ए हैंड लेंस इट इज ए मैग्निफाइंग ग्लास जो स्मॉल ऑब्जेक्ट को लार्ज करके दिखाता है कन्वेक्स लेंस मैग्निफाइंग ग्लास दे फाउंड टाइनी मशरूम ओवर द डिकेइंग लीव्स यस डिकेइंग लीव्स डेड एंड डिकेइंग लीव्स दे फाउंड टाइनी मशरूम मशरूम इज अ काइंड ऑफ हेटरोट्रॉप आल्सो नोन एज सेप्रोट्रॉप्स डेड एंड डिकेइंग मैटर पे जो सरवाइव करते हैं नोन एज सेप्रोट्रॉप्स मशरूम इज एन एग्जांपल दे आल्सो स an army of tiny insect yes army of tiny insect means bahut sare numbers of insect millipedes ants and beetle on them they are wondering how these organism live there professor ahmed explained that apart from these animal which we easily see there are several organisms and microorganisms that live in the soil some small organism living beings some micro organism which cannot be seen with the naked eyes kisi instrument ki help se to hum unko dekh sakte hain but without any the help of any instrument hum un organism ko nahi dekh sakte wo itne tiny hote hain known as micro organisms and where these tiny organism and micro organism found they are found inside the soil forest ke andar ya earth pe jitne animals हम देखते हैं ने कड़ाई से उससे कहीं ज्यादा अमाउंट में स्मॉल ऑर्गेनिज्म होते हैं जो सोइल के अंदर पाए जाते हैं यस माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट लिव इन द सोइल पहली वंडर व्हाट मशरूम एंड अदर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म ईट प्रोफेसर अहमद रिप्लाइड दैट दे फीड अपॉन द डेड प्लांट एंड एनिमल टिश्यू एंड कन्वर्ट देम into a dark colored substance called humus yes student this is your important term underline this humus humus is a dark colored substance found in the soil is known as humus yes humus is converted from dead and decaying plant leaves organic matter who will convert micro organism micro organism are found in the soil they convert dead leaves dead plant dead animal into a black colored substance that black colored substance is known as humus yes student always remember ye jo humus hai ye soil ki fertility ko increase kar deta hai yes it, it is rich in nutrients iske andar bahut zyada amount mein nutrient paaye jate hain jo soil ki fertility ko increase karte hain humus so humus is a dark color substance which is made by micro organism in the soil they convert dead and decaying plant leaves dead animal into some another form that form is known as humus you have learnt about humus in chapter 9 soil we have discussed about this soil in chapter soil in which layer of the soil would you found humus the top layer yes the top layer of the soil is rich in humus so ab dekhenge hamare jitne bhi plant hain jitne bhi crops hain wo sabhi ke sabhi top layer mein hi grow karte hain because the top layer is rich in humus what is its important to the soil it make the soil fertile if there is a large amount of humus is present in the soil soil will be fertile it increase the fertility the microorganism which convert dead plant and animal to humus are known as decomposer yes which decompose the dead and decaying animal and plant into humus that organisms are known as decomposers so underline this this is also an important term decomposers the microorganism which convert the dead plant and animal to humus are known as decomposers these microorganisms play an important role in the forest soon pahli removed some dead leaves and discover under them a layer of humus on forest floor the presence of humus ensure that the nutrient of dead plant and animals are released into soil every plant and every animal having some nutrient 
these nutrients are converted into humus by decomposers and they mix this humus into the soil which increase the fertility of the soil from there these nutrients are again absorbed by the root of the living plant what happen if animal die in the forest yes so these nutrients again taken up by the root of the plant and ultimately these nutrient will again went back to the plant these plant are eaten by some animal those animal are eaten by some other animals so the by uh, in this way in this process nutrients will be move from one organism to another organisms yes or we can say there is a nutrition cycle yes what happen if an animal die in the forest sela asked asked this question asked by sela tibu replied dead animal become food for vulture crows jackals and insect yes dead animals are eaten up by vultures crows jackal and other insect means dead animals become food for some another animals in this way nutrient nutri nutrients are cycled or we can say they move from one organism to another organism we have discussed about water cycle okay oxygen cycle in this way nutrients are also cycled so nothing goes waste in the forest yes everything will be utilized everything is utilized inside the forest so nothing goes waste in a forest yes student in our home we generate so many waste that waste we are not utilized we throw that waste in a dustbin or in other places but in forest the different situation is there nothing goes waste in the forest yes everything is taken up by some other organisms so nothing goes waste in a forest pahili reminded professor amar that he had not explained why forest are called green lungs yes now the question is why forest are known as green lungs yes student you know about photosynthesis and what is the process of photosynthesis in the process of photosynthesis plant take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and gives oxygen to the atmosphere that oxygen is taken by the animals by the human beings and animal and human beings gives carbon dioxide that carbon dioxide is taken by again plants they purify they convert that oxygen into carbon dioxide into oxygen that oxygen is taken by human being animal they generate carbon dioxide so in this way we can say that forest or we can say plant are known as green lungs professor ahmed explained that plant release oxygen through the process of photosynthesis the plant help to provide oxygen for animal respiration yes they also maintain balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere yes we know that the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere is 21% amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is 0.03% or you can say 0.04% yes that is why forests are called green lungs yes this question can be asked why forests are known as green lungs so you will give the answer that plant help to provide oxygen for animal respiration they also maintain the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that is why forests are called green lungs yes you can also draw figure 17.10 balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide plant give oxygen animal gives carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is taken by plant they give oxygen oxygen is taken by animal they gives carbon dioxide yes paheli reminded their friend that they have studied photosynthesis in chapter 1 so we have already discussed about photosynthesis yes children saw color uh, clouds forming in the sky do you recall what he had learnt about the water cycle 
in class 6 yes we have discussed about water cycle in previous chapter we have also discussed about water cycle tree take water take in water from their root and release water vapor into the air through evaporation these vapors will form a cloud and when the cloud become heavy the water will comes in the form of rain yes if there were a fewer tree how will the water cycle be affected yes water cycle will be affected tibu told them that the forest is not just home for plant and animal many people also live in the forest yes dear student you have you must have to know about some people are living in forest also they are known as tribal people yes in our country there there are also some tribal tribal people which are living inside the forest or near the forest yes tribal people many people also live in the forest some of the some of them may belong to different tribes tibu explain that these people depend mostly on forest they get their food from the forest their everything for their living beings they are getting from the forest whether it is a food whether it is a medicines animals they are getting from forest forest provide them food shelter water and medicine they have traditional knowledge about many medicinal plants in the forest while bujo was drinking water from small stream he saw some deer crossing the stream yes you can see in the picture crossing the stream he saw some deer crossing the stream they disappeared into the bushes the dense bushes and the tall grasses provide animal with the food and shelter yes shelter is a place for living they also protect them from carnivores that live in the forest they hide themselves behind the small trees paheli remembered that she saw a people sapling on the side wall in her school can you help her to understand how these would have happened tibu then start looking closely at the forest floor soon he called and so the children dropping up some animal and explain the difference between various type of droppings professor ahmed dropping means waste of the animals yes professor ahmed informed them that the forest officers could recognize the presence of some animal in the forest by their dropping and footprint yes by the dropping and their footprint forest guard or forest officers recognize the animals presence of animals so bujo called everyone and saw them a large decaying heap of animal dropping several beetles and grubs were feeding on the heap yes several microorganisms small insect beetles they are feeding on that waste generated by means decaying heap of the animals a bunch of seedling was sprouting some small trees are coming out means sprouting means germinating these seedling are the herbs and saps the animal also disappear disperse the seed of certain plant and help the forest to grow and regenerate in this way the plant will regenerate in the forest yes student previous ek question bhi aaya tha ki kaun wahan pe plants ko grow karta hai nature se hi wo wahan pe grow hote hain small seedling से जो जो हमारे पास जो फ्रूट्स हैं फ्रूट्स से जो सीड्स निकलते हैं दे स्कैटर्ड हेयर एंड देयर उनसे स्मॉल प्लांट्स बनते हैं जिनको सीडलिंग बोलते हैं सीडलिंग से फिर सेपलिंग बनती है उन्हीं से फिर दोबारा से प्लांट रीजनरेट होते हैं द डिकिंग एनिमल डंग आल्सो प्रोवाइड न्यूट्रिय टू द सीडलिंग टू ग्रो यस एनिमल वेस्ट डिकिंग एनिमल डंग गिव न्यूट्रिय okay give nutrients to the seedling to grow said professor ahmed after listening to this bujo noted in this notebook by harboring 
greater variety of plant the forest provide greater opportunity for food and habitat for the herbivores larger number of herbivores means increased variety of food for the variety of carnivores okay if there are more herbivores there will be more food for the carnivores the wide variety of animal help the forest to regenerate and grow if there are different variety of animal different kind of animal they will give different type of nutrient to the soil different kind of plant will be grow decomposer help in maintaining the supply of nutrients to the growing plant in the forest yes so जो स्टूडेंट है वो नोट डाउन कर रहे हैं अपनी नोटबुक के अंदर कि जो डिकम्पोजर है वो क्या करते हैं जो न्यूट्रिएंट्स हैं उसको मेंटेन करके रखते हैं फॉरेस्ट के अंदर क्योंकि जो भी डेड या प्लांट या फिर एनिमल वहां पे होगा उसको सोइल में कौन कन्वर्ट करेगा डिकम्पोजर्स और जैसे वो कन्वर्ट हो जाएंगे ह्यूमस के अंदर ह्यूमस में बहुत सारे न्यूट्रेंट होंगे दीज न्यूट्रेंट आर प्रोवाइडेड टू द सोइल देर द फॉरेस्ट इज डायनेमिक लिविंग एंटिटी full of life and variety yes dynamic living entity yes what is the meaning of dynamic living entity means different kind of living beings are there they can be different type of animal or different type of plant means dynamic different variety full of life and vitality it was about afternoon and the children wanted to go back yes tibu suggested another route for going back yes so tibu hai frequently wahan pe aata rehta hai to wo dusra route suggest karta hai wapis jaane ke liye while they are going back it started raining rain hone start ho jati hai however surprisingly they saw that the rain drop were not hitting the forest floor directly the uppermost layer of the forest canopy intercepted the flow of rain drop yes because the top most layer of the tree is full of leaves so rain is not going to the forest floor directly it is coming drop by drop upper most layer of the forest canopy intercepted the flow of rain drop the most of the water was coming down through the branches and the stem of the trees okay student you can take you can look at the diagram rain drop from the tree and seep into the ground seep into the ground yes different rain is there transpiration and evaporation the closed canopy and many layer of the vegetation slow down the speed of the rain drop covered ground with the decaying material act like sponge root system then water table the water by the process of seepage it will move into the ground and it will recharge the water table the root system help water to seep into the ground yes was drip slowly over the branches of the serpent herb they found that the ground was still dry after about half an hour the rain stopped they noticed that the layer of dead leaves over the forest floor appeared wet now but water did not stagnate in the forest stagnate means jo jis tarah se hamare yahan pe barish ho jati hai to pani ikattha ho jata hai but forest mein aisa nahi hai kyunki forest ka jo floor hai wo bhi kafi spongy hai water ko absorb kar leta hai aur by the process of seepage or infiltration wo water kahan pe chala jata hai water table बट हमारे यहाँ पे क्या है कि हर जगह पे पक्का फ्लोर है तो वाटर इकट्ठा हो जाता है और उसमें स्मेल आनी स्टार्ट हो जाती है उसको हम कहते हैं स्टेग्नेट वाटर स्टेग्नेट हो जाता है तो वहां पे फॉरेस्ट में स्टेग्नेट नहीं होता है क्योंकि पानी इकट्ठा ही नहीं होता वहां पे खड़ा नहीं होता है सो बुजो थॉट दैट इफ इट हैड रेन सो हैविली इन दिस इन हिस टाउन इट वुड है फ्लडेड द ट्रेन एंड रोड what would happen if it rain heavily in your town aisa hi hoga bahut sara pani ikattha ho jata hai professor emma told them the forest also act the new nature natural absorber of rain water and allow it to seep natural absorber yes absorb karte hain water ko 
और उसको सीप करते हैं इट हेल्प मेंटेन द वॉटर टेबल थ्रू आउट द ईयर फॉरेस्ट नॉट ओनली हेल्प इन कंट्रोलिंग फ्लड बट ऑल्सो हेल्प maintaining the flow of water in the stream so that we get steady supply of water the water the forest hai wo flood ko to control karte hi usi ke sath jo stream hai jo rivers hai unke andar bhi water ki supply ko continue rakhte hain on the other hand if tree are not present rain hit the ground directly and may flood the area around agar forest nahi honge तो वो जो वाटर है रेन वाटर डायरेक्टली ग्राउंड पे आएगा और फ्लड की कंडीशन हो जाएगी ऑन दी अदर एंड इफ ट्री आर नॉट प्रेजेंट रेन हिट द ग्राउंड डायरेक्टली एंड मे फ्लड द एरिया अराउंड इट हैवी रेन मे आल्सो डैमेज द सोइल रूट ऑफ द ट्री नॉर्मली बाइंड द सोइल टुगेदर बट इन देयर एब्सेंस सोइल इज वॉश्ड अवे और एरोडेड देयर विल बी सोइल एरोजन मिट्टी का जो कटाव है वो होना स्टार्ट हो जाएगा अगर वहां पे ट्री नहीं होंगे क्योंकि जो ट्री की जो रूट्स हैं वो सोइल को बाइंड करके रखती हैं बांध के रखती हैं इफ देर इज नो ट्री देर विल बी नो रूट सोइल बिकम लूज एंड इट विल वॉस्ड अवे विद्लडेड वॉटर देर विल बी सोइल एरोजन सोइल चैप्टर में भी हम ये पढ़ा है द चिल्ड्रन स्पेंड एन आर एट एज विलेज ऑन देयर वे बैक the weather of the village was quite pleasant villagers told them that due to the surrounding forest they received good rainfall the air also remained cool to ki char aur kya hai forest hai proper amount mein wahan pe rainfall hoti hai aur jo air hai wo bhi clean and cool hai noise pollution too is less because the forest absorb the noise of the nearby highway agar bahut sare forest hain wahan se jo traffic ka jo noise hoti hai us साउंड को एब्जॉर्ब कर लेते विच रिड्यूस द नॉइज पोल्यूशन द चिल्ड्रन लर्न अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द विलेज इट सरप्राइज देम दैट द विलेज एंड द एग्रीकल्चरल फील्ड ऑफ दैट एरिया वर क्रिएटेड आफ्टर क्लीनिंग द फॉरेस्ट अबाउट सिक्सटी ईयर एगो यहाँ पे जो विलेज जो यहाँ पे बनाया गया है तो यहाँ पे कल्टिवेटेड जो फील्ड है जहाँ पे क्रॉप होती है Near about 60 years ago, forest to clean करके वो किया गया है वहाँ पे. The Tibu's grandfather told them that when he was young, the village was not as large as it was now. It was also surrounded by forest, construction of road, building, industrial development, and increasing demand of the wood created pressure on the forest and it started vanishing. Underline the vanishing meaning of vanishing. Vanishing means रिड्यूसिंग वेनिस हो रहा है डिक्रीज हो रहा है सो इंडस्ट्री को बिल्डिंग की डिमांड को रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन को फुलफिल करने के लिए वुड की रिक्वायरमेंट है वुड कहा से लिया गया फॉरेस्ट है सो इसलिए डे बाई डे फॉरेस्ट क्या हो रहे हैं डिक्रीज होते जा रहे हैं वेनिश होते जा रहे हैं ही वॉज नॉट हैपी दैट द फॉरेस्ट एट ज्वाइनिंग देयर विलेज इज नॉट रीजनरेटिंग एंड इज ऑन दर्ज ऑफ disappearing due to overgrazing of animal and indiscriminate felling of trees felling of trees means cutting of tree underline the word felling cutting down of tree so wo dekhte hain ki day by day jo forest hai wo disappear ho rahi hai kyun aur kyunki ek to overgrazing animals jo chote chote jo saplings hai plant ke unko kha jate hain to new tree grow nahi ho rahe hain dusre ki jo लार्ज अमाउंट में जो ट्री है उसकी कटाई हो रही है फेलिंग ऑफ ट्री मीन कटिंग ऑफ ट्री दीज आर दू मेन रीजन ऑफ डिसअपियरिंग ऑफ फॉरेस्ट प्रोफेसर अहमद सेड इफ वी डिड थिंग्स वाइजली वी कुड प्रिजर्व फॉरेस्ट एंड एनवायरमेंट एज वेल एज हैव डेवलपमेंट चिल्ड्रन प्रिपेयर अ फ्यू पिक्चर ऑफ सो द कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस ऑफ सच एन इवेंट द टेक सम पिक्चर at the end of the visit professor ahmed asked children to sum up the importance of forest end me kya hai ki wo professor ahmed bachcho kehte hain ki bhi jo jo aap logo ne yahan se importance sikhi hai forest ki usko sum up karo uski summary banaiyega the children wrote forest provide us oxygen they protect soil provide habitat to large animal large number of animal so ye sab wo provide karwate hain forest help in bringing good rainfall in the neighboring area 
they are the source of medicinal plant timber and many other useful product we must preserve our forest so what would happen if forest disappear we are not able to get these product which we are getting from the forest so student you see the picture of 216 so this is our chapter you must read thoroughly this chapter okay take care have a nice day